Hi Pinkula, this is Prakriti and it's me Supriti and today is going to be super fun because A, we've never done anything like it. We're going to do a little bit of a makeup tutorial from Supra. So uh, we're getting ready for brunch and we're going to take you with us. So let's, let's go. go. Okay, so we're going to start from the start and I think, uh, you know, usually every single time me and Prakriti do makeup together. So some, this is something we're very used to. This happens almost every second day in our life and I think as babies also, uh, if I really have to talk about makeup, I think we knew how to do makeup before we knew how to sing. Because, <laughs> you know, we had an elder sister and we used to always, you know, look up to her and steal her makeup and try all these tricks in you know, things in our bathroom back in the time. Of course, now we can wear our own makeup and do our own makeup looks. Um, so every time, I, whenever we have an event, when we have like our own gigs, shows, we usually don't carry a makeup artist because in my head, I think I'm a great makeup artist. <laughs> but today, it's not going to be very made up because it's going to be a super natural daytime look. So it's going to be very muted, very chill, but uh, hopefully we'll be glowing by the end of the video. Courtesy the mask. So let's start yeah, with the we'll face start mask. With the mask, uh, no specific preference, so to say. But I have a pineapple mask today. It's from Sephora. I have a watermelon, so let's, let's get fruity. Well, guys, honestly, just see how flushed the skin looks after this. That's no. the whole point. We'll tell them the truth. We'll tell them that we've not been sleeping well, and we're creating a lot of amazing music for you guys. So we sleep at 6 o'clock every day. Yeah. We live on two things. Good music, food and makeup. <laughs> Dirty tissue. Okay. This should have helped. Ha! <sighs> okay, that was actually amazing. Okay, I think after this is uh, the most important step, at least according to me, because makeup is very easy to do, but it only looks good when you put the pre-makeup on it. I mean, what I mean by pre-makeup is just products that will make your makeup sit better. My also, skin. Sukriti and I have very different ways of uh, prepping our skin. Like our <coughs> products will tell you how different they are, but I think being, I think that's the most beautiful thing about makeup, right? And people, everyone's skin is different and how products react to everybody's skin is so different. I think for me, what I've been doing very lately uh, is um, I'm really obsessed with this 82 East brand and uh, really love the packaging because I think it comes in different colours. So now, even before sleeping at night, I know the green, then pink, then you know, yeah. purple. So this is a Gotu Cola Dew which is a serum. So I go in with this and I start with this and I just apply it all over my skin. It does nothing but I think provides a lot of hydration. Yeah. See that's the, th that's the thing, Sukriti is just not a primer girl and I'm like a total total primer girl. Like I can't wear makeup if I don't wear primer because that's the but only way. I have way, way more dried skin yeah. than you. Like I have a combination skin so it's like somewhere like it's oily but a lot Mostly of it is dry. dry. Yeah. And, and yeah. my skin is just generally, generally dry. So this is another one, like one of my favorite, favorite products. It's like my favorite primer right now. It's uh, from Milk, another one of my favorite brands. And this just um, <coughs> gives it that flush and shine that you need. And it's also like super jelly and uh, you know, not very watery. So. so I think after, after the serum, I go in with the face oil. Uh, I used to hate face oils because I think growing up I had a lot of acne at some point and it was very random like it was just occasional acne and I felt uh, like I stayed away from anything which was oily. oily on my skin because I would just start breaking out but now suddenly I feel like a little amount of it is okay this is also like it, it's honestly done wonders I've been using it since two months so just two three you know drops of oil and then I start my makeup so it's a, and it smells also pretty good. Next up, I think um, this is just a cream that I swear by, especially on days you're underslept. This is the um, Charlotte Tilbury, what is it? The magic cream, right? Yeah, it's this called is the, the magic cream. 
Okay, so I think now the skin is super prepped. It's waiting for the makeup to come on. Yeah, super um, prepped, looking like. Oh, I forgot to do sunscreen, but I guess you can still do it. That's how Sukriti started. Like, if she had it her way, she would wear sunscreen to go to bed also. But I do that. I think I, I, I read this thing recently that you have to wear sunscreen indoors also. Huh? But guys, I hate sunscreen which leaves a white cast. Okay, this is the mineral sunscreen which is almost like a foundation. Uh, when Because you actually see color. it, it's. It's like a, it's like a BB cream. Yeah. Then okay. moving forward to my favorite uh, lip balm. We yeah. finally have the same product, guys. <laughs> <laughs> This is another one of our favorites, and I think now we're looking like what um, Hailey Bieber calls a glazed donut. Yeah. Like just Glazy. we're shining. Okay. <laughs> um. I think I'm going to go on, uh, go in uh, with this palette. It's a nude palette. That's what I'm feeling right now by Huda Beauty. In yeah, we actually swear by Huda Beauty. We've got every palette that there is. Yeah. But I think choices are different. I'm using some retrograde eyeshadow palette, and that nude. is that's a nude palette. I think a lot of people do the base first. We both yeah. have always believed in doing the eyes first because. When it falls down on your face, and then it's just it's too much work. And I think Sukriti and I, as a concept, we believe in fast makeup. You know, we had our first gig, and we had zero help, so we used to, you know, like do makeup ourselves. And there's do always a the time and stuff. Remember? Even in the car. So, like for us, like fast makeup is extremely important because we're always under a time crunch. I mean, I feel like doing makeup is a very automated process for us. I can do it in my sleep also. Yeah, it's like so we're on, you know. Um, It's like a autopilot mode for us. Yeah, we just know like our fingers just like start moving. So, so I'm gonna go with like a darker shade. Like this is just something that I do my crease with. It's called Tease. So we build a crease first. I'm using a color on this called Karma. Um, pretty Quite interesting the... that I haven't noticed this before, but it's like a soft, nice nude peach brown situation. I like it. Okay, I think I'm not doing too much on my eyes, um, but there's also a really lovely color here called the gold glitch. Gold glitch. I'm not gonna glitch my eyes at all, but yeah. just gonna take my third finger and put it in the middle, so it gives you a nice shine. And also, because it's a brunch, I think it'll be lovely to just have some shine. So I think everyone who's ever worked on our faces tells us that we have really big eyes. So all makeup artists like we have so much canvas to do, <laughs> and <laughs> they can paint. Like you know, when I open my eyes, my eyeshadow will always show. So Mine there's a lot of scope to do makeup. This is just like my go-to look, if you can tell. Like my crease is set, and now if I want to go fun, I can go with some glitter right in the middle. Um, going in next, I'm using again Huda Beauty. This is actually a highlighter palette, um, but what I also use this is pretty multi-purpose. Like even if you look at it, like she's used it on her cheeks, she's used it on her eyes. Um, so I've done my eyes, but I'm just going to use some on the sides of my eyes. So I feel like. I want to do something slightly more fun than I had planned. So I, I personally, I mean, as much as I love like powder eyeshadows, I also love cream eyeshadows. And um, one of my I favorite ones is again Charlotte and Tilbury. It's in rose gold. I just love, love, love the form formula so much because it's it's like nice and gooey, and um, it just stays. You know, once you put it, it kind of mattifies and it becomes. You know, you don't even need a setting spray on it. Sometimes it just stays, and it's water resistant. So this is gonna like give it the pop that I need. So here we go. Okay, I think I'm done with my eyes. I'm not gonna do more. Uh, next, I'm doing filling in my eyebrows. So I use number five from Benefit. This is the foolproof brow powder. Over the years, I've become more of a powder girl than a cream one. I don't know when that happened, but I'm not complaining. Yeah, I think Sukriti can get out without any makeup, but she will never get out of the house without filling her brows. Eyebrows are very important. Yeah, 
Yeah, I feel like I they kind of define your face on like not just girls. I've done my brows. I'm gonna just put some gel on it. Um, this is a very important step according to me in makeup because I feel like you put powder and then this kind of just sets it up like how people use gel to just fix their hair and not have flyaways. Which we uh, have again different products, but yeah. Yeah, you know, <laughs> we're on the same. I have benefit. It's called Gimme Brow. This is I have Elf Beauty. But both are um, great. Both, are, both great. are great. But gel is like super important because you know you want like a bushy eyebrow. No, but also I think the feather eyebrow trend is super super relevant right now. Yeah. Um, and Selena if you don't have Gomez. microblading done or anything like that, this. Really I just think nobody out. should do microblading because it's scary, and I just think that eyebrow trends keep changing. It's too scary. Like, what if? But that's not tattooing. It just kind of goes away, right? In a few months. Yeah, but what if like thin eyebrows come back? I mean, I hope they never do because that was the worst beauty trend according to me. I feel like two things should never come back: low waist jeans and thin eyebrows. Yeah, aim into that. Okay, my eyes are done. Still looks so incomplete, but wait for it. I'm gonna do my liner now next. Uh, very basic and uh, very strong about this choice, but I feel like there's uh, Maybelline. It's called the Line Tattoo. It's what got, is this? It's just the best uh, liner and also very affordable. So I feel like um, you can't have enough of these, and it gives you so much precision when you're going in for your liner. I'm very fast with my liner. I'm very proud of my makeup. You're skills. doing a liner? Yeah. Um, I don't like a liquid liner. I'm more of a gel liner girl because um, I somehow don't like a straight, straight line unless it's I'm going for like a very bold look, and I just like my liner to be a little more smudged, so it looks more natural. So um, this is again the Maybelline gel liner, and I'm going to use this brush and hopefully get it right because this so is I the tricky part. If I get this wrong, I feel like I want silence. I'm getting distracted because I'm talking. Yeah. But this is how you always do your makeup. Yeah, but so many people are watching right now. I'm getting <laughs> pressurized. <laughs> and you're smiling also. Yeah. Okay, guys, wish me luck because this is gonna be like a no makeup makeup uh, attempt. I mean, honestly, we love makeup just as much as music. So. Yeah. I've done my eyes, which are super rose gold, sparkly. I actually love it. Um, my eyebrows are done. Now is my favorite part because this is what changes the look entirely. Um, so off late, I've been using the Fenty Beauty foundation. This is really nice because it's super. Um, also, I use this a lot on stage because I feel like on stage you need a lot of coverage, and this just kind of helps. It's medium to very full coverage. So a very small pump, that much. That's all you need. That's all I need at least. But you can use as much as you like. Um, yeah. I don't actually like the stark line, so I'm gonna go and blend it and make it, you know, super smudgy. It looks like I'm really, you know, playing around, but it looked really nice after I put mascara, I promise. <laughs> I am gonna take another pump. <laughs> but also, I use this brush, something like this, you can get it anywhere you like. Um, but it makes the job so fast. It's just you, like you drag it all over your skin and uh, I mean I know a lot of people use like a beauty blender But I feel like it takes too long and girl got no patience for that Okay, so. now I'm missing a little bit of shine on my eyes. I can't get past my eyes, eyes for some yeah, reason I mean, oh so my god. I think I'm gonna go with this. It's just gonna <laughs> add like a little pop of um, Glitter that I'm missing. This is um, Urban Decay one of my favorite brands and this is She's very charged. Slow. This is just gonna give it like some look at my eyes vibe. Yeah, exactly. A total, total liquid eyeshadow girl. Yeah, this just gives it like that pop, and you can just. I mean, this just gets the job done, and like I said, fast makeup for the win. Yup. Also, what I love about the Fenty foundation is that it comes in so many shades. Uh, you almost need a supervisor to tell you which one goes for you. Um, the one that I'm using is slightly lighter than my actual skin tone, but it's because I have been badly tanned uh, from my last trip. But it'll settle. 
Another <laughs> hack according to me is like nobody tells you to put kajal actually on the upper water line and that makes all the difference and especially like for um like indian eyes uh, especially for those features it kind of accentuates the eyes in a way it just makes it look bigger uh without actually seeing the liner line and you know how I'm going is. only like four steps ahead of prakriti i've reached that's my life <laughs> i've reached my concealer um this one is the l'oreal in fallible um it's a lot for a lot of people but i feel uh. like it gives me great coverage so okay go a anyway. little slow na yaar little slow just chill <coughs> okay i think now we we're going to slowly go to the base cuz this face is looking so incomplete i'm, I'm going to steal concealers. your base yeah i'm going to steal your base like every day and so this is a trick i've learned from instagram um just under your eyes you don't need to put the whole thing especially if you're using something with a lot of coverage um just use it here and use it at the end use it here and use it at the end and now we just have to blend it so this is uh, something that i got recently from a trip to hong kong and i feel like hong kong for me is like a makeup capital you get everything and everything just, yeah like that side of the world just yeah, it's knows just so much so many kind of things that you know you will not probably find here it's that triangular puff which is like really in right now but if you could just touch the surface it is so soft it's like a sponge it's like a japanese cheesecake so like a little like trick in middle of your makeup if you've just put your base you want to put your base right a, i yeah. use the clarins fix makeup it just makes it do we in the middle then you can continue again hmm. this also works yes. as a refresh makeup um you know if you feel like if you can do patchy you can just go spray it on your face and then continue moving forward and also for just uh, <coughs> products that are not very watery this is like even for eye shadows and stuff sometimes like powder eye shadows mixed with this just works so much better again uh use a lot of concealers uh to find this concealer like formula wise best for me like sometimes like i said like i don't like to put makeup every day of my life so when i really just want to put like literally one drop here and one drop here and get out for a whole day of work or something like that i use this this is a concealer uh, by maybelline in 15 but it also works beautifully as a foundation for me personally cuz um it just gives it that little fix that you need like a very very quick fix and you don't need foundation for most days for a girl like me who anyway doesn't like too much coverage but today i can't say that cuz okay. i have a lot of coverage we're on the same <laughs> level now finally finally shall we move to the blush no uh, to the setting powder so um the setting powder we use um are a few but like today i'm going to be using again who that we because just why not use the whole range right yeah. again um, our favorite from most of this one is called banana bread it's almost <laughs> over <laughs> i didn't say i'm not going to make a mess i'm going to actually uh, go in with this beauty blender I, it's not washed but we're lazy like that actually what a beautiful thing to have been invented right you don't want to yeah. use a compact it's too heavy so you use it. i mean i think the most important thing about um like a setting powder is that don't ever um brush it against your skin just like pat it in this is one mistake i used to do so much also, like growing up also i think up. not put it everywhere wherever yeah. you feel like you need to put it like if it's oily at one place you put it yeah. only there don't put it everywhere like whatever yeah. parts are shining but just like push it in like constantly keep like you know setting it and okay. done wow you're getting faster than me yeah just my hands move super fast with makeup Uh so we're going to finish the eyes the last step for the eyes is of course mascara I take a lot of pride in never wearing lashes it's just I mean I'm kidding sometimes I have a really <laughs> big shoot or awards and all I'll wear it but otherwise every day and for birds and stuff this mascara is almost similar product yes, again <laughs> have a similar choice but this will give you the false lashes that you dream of yeah this is again uh, legit lashes by 
who da who da we love you yeah, like we love you like we swear by your products clearly but, but the, this best is the best mascara. best mascara yeah. best 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 also mascara. it has like two sides one is for curl and length and the other one's for volume volumes obviously our favorite it takes the cake but you see the difference it makes to the whole face in like seconds mascara getting a right mascara or finding the right mascara for your lashes is the most crucial part of getting a whole makeup uh look right cuz that's like a make or break and i think sukriti and me we actually hate waterproof mascara yeah. cuz you have to protect your lashes and uh, just removing waterproof mascara just takes away half your lashes I actually just used the curl and length. Now I'm going to go in with the volume side, but game changer. Yeah. Done with the volume. On to the length, cause why get um, one when you get both? I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the eyes are done, base is done, mascara is done, brows are done. Blush. Okay. Yeah. So blush. When we talk about blush, this is my favorite part, right? Because I feel like, however tired you are, blush will always make you feel like pretty, alive, and flushed, and just pretty. Like I feel like uh, my skin, particularly, always eats blush. So every time I get my makeup done, I'm like, just put extra because I know my skin also loves eating blush. <coughs> So no I think your skin just loves eating makeup. Yeah, like so it. Like eater. she's looking like this right now, but I don't know where it goes. <laughs> give it an hour. <laughs> give it forty it minutes, and it's gonna just go. So this is my new favorite product. It's from Pixie. It's called On the Glow. Yeah, this is on, epic. On yeah. the Glow blush. It's a tinted moisture stick. Yeah. Uh, really my good. My favorite part is the way that it looks, and the application is honestly just fun. Guys, it looks like a deodorant. a little bit it looks like nice cute cream. it's like a it's like a candy bar uh but the best part is you can just apply it and then want to take it yeah i'm actually going to do a combination of um a powder blush and a cream blush cuz um, i'm going to start with the powder blush and See? use this cream blush as almost like a highlighter cuz it's got that shine this doesn't even need a highlight it's just going yeah. on its own so um i really use this to you know color the apples and like my face is actually you know the way that i highlight it is like i focus on this part which is the apple and um sometimes i don't even need to contour it like i don't think i'm going to go heavy on contouring because it's a day event and yeah. um, that's more like a night thing so blush is done powder is done Now I'm going to go with a little bit of the Pixie Pixies here. So another product and brand that I've been obsessing over recently and I'm not like Prakriti said we both are not very high on contour. Um but sometimes I feel like I do want to have like a slimmer look like you know or contour like a slimmer nose, nose and, and stuff like that. But I think part. that works better at night. And I still don't know how to do it but this is a uh, nude sticks and it makes your job so much easier. It's again a cream So you don't have to care about, uh, you know. Okay, it's gonna look really funny, but just wait and see what happens. And then your job is done. Sure. And it's not like a powder, right? Powder mm. gets a little messy for me. This also just stays on the skin a lot more. Ah, yo. Are you done? Done. Okay, I'm gonna go with a little bit of a highlight, cause. It's you know, it's kiss. day and it's gonna be sunny, and a little highlight can never hurt anyone. It can just make you blind. Which one is this? Actually, do you want to help me with this? Yeah. Okay, we we'll talk have, about. I uh, have this also. Do you want this highlight? Do you want this? Yeah. Okay, I've used this before, but this is the 3D highlighter palette. Um, some of my favorite places. So there's Fiji, Seychelles, Tahiti, and Zanzibar. Which one do you want? Zanzibar. Zanzibar <laughs> is the pink, blushy highlight. Actually, but go easy because I have a lot of red on. See, I'm behaving like a professional makeup artist, dripping and dropping all the extra product. Don't overdo it. And I'm going to take a lick. See, actually, guys, this is stunning. It better look stunning, Suko. Yeah. I'm going to take a little bit of Seychelles. because this is like the most blinding one out of them all and put it again on this 
particular bone. This is nude stick. This is also a really nice cream highlighter. This is called Bubbly Baby. Um, Bubbly Baby. Same concept. It's got the brush at the back. One of my favorite brands. And just look at that. That's the highlight. You literally need to just put a little bit. You're going to shine all day. I just realized we didn't co uh, contour our face at all. I did. Yeah. I think we're almost done, right? With everything, just the lips is left and that wasn't quick at all. But if I wasn't talking, trust me, it would be 10-15 minutes for me. I do this every day. Okay. So I've tried almost every lipstick there is, you know, here and internationally also. But somehow, nothing stays throughout the day. Like, even the ones that actually stay, say that they are long, stay really like, you know, a few hours and they're gone. This one, somehow, the Maybelline Vinyl Ink, um, what I love about this is not the fact that it's it's not matte, right? You put this, it looks like it's like a gloss, but it doesn't leave. Like even when you're removing yeah. your makeup, you need to just keep wiping it till it's I just off. think this is like the first ever formula which is creamy, is. but long stay, but also matte. And I think girls like us, like inherently we need to just own lipsticks that don't stay in the mic. Because uh, for us, that's the most important thing. When you're going on stage, you don't want to kiss the mic and stain it. But I think um, because I'm not going on stage right now and I'm going for a bl uh, brunch, I am actually going to use um, a very hydrating lip oil. Um, this is something I bought from Taiwan. I'm but sorry. it's called Kas. Yeah, Kosas. Kosas. I don't know if I'm saying it right. So please don't be mean. But this is a lip oil, which also doubles up as a lip gloss. We're actually not big on lip liners. Yeah. Uh, but, but I've done a good job, right? This was the vinyl and it looks like a gloss. It's amazing. But I'm also going to top it up with something. Um, the last product, hopefully, that I'm using for today's makeup video is my favorite lip gloss. It's from Charlotte Tilbury. This one is, of course, Pillow Talk. This is super trending right now. I think a lot of people love this, including me. It comes as this little heart, if you can see, that's the applicator. I find it super cute. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, I thought I'm going to go with the lip oil, but I'm not very happy because I think I need some more colour. And because it's brunch and there's going to be lots of eating, I need something that will stay. So I'm going with this High Shine Bobbi Brown. Uh, and this is hopefully going to give me the colour. On that note, I have finished my makeup and I'm going to put a little bit of uh, finished spray all over again. I'm going to top it up with um, Sephora Gloss. It also doubles up as a lip plumper. So I think we're done, right? So this was super fun guys, I think we used all our favourite products and what we've tried to create um, is something super dewy, something very brunchy, morning day vibe. Um, also shiny because super shiny. Yeah. you're going to be in the sun right and you want to glow. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this and now we're obviously not wearing this so we're going to go change but uh, We're going to clear this mess first of first all First of all uh, Because makeup is expensive You know that's the thing with twins, our makeup always gets mixed up but today we'll keep it in our own bags <laughs> But uh, we're going to go change Look And I hope you guys enjoyed these looks, thank you Pink Villa, this is something so new for us and so much fun And uh, see you guys the next time where we can explore like a night look also because I think that would be a lot of fun as well. So let us know in the comments what you think and we'll see you soon. Lots of love.